Today we're looking at a question from a viewer named Fresher is his uh, username, I guess is how you say that. And um, his question is basically uh, in Bash, uh, if you're making a database using a CSV file, so you're having lines, uh, each line being a new uh, entry, and then uh, columns for each entry for that, what I just said really didn't sound right. But I'm going to show you, he wants to know how you remove something from that. Uh, so let's jump right in. First we have to create uh, the database. So let's write a quick script that will do that. So we'll just call it getinfo.sh. Okay, and we'll start off as we normally do with bin bash. And we'll, uh, I always like to clear the screen, and then we'll go echo what is your name? And then we'll read name. Actually, just so we'll have a few lines, we'll go, what is your first name? And we'll call that F name. So as we've gone over in the past, read will uh, wait for user input and we'll create a variable of the user's input called uh, F name. And I'm just going to copy and paste this for time. I'll say, what is your last name? And we'll change this to L name. And we'll say echo what state do you live in? And we'll create a variable from the user's input called state. Then we'll put that information into a file. But I also, and especially when it comes to removing stuff, such as uh, what we're talking about here, like to give each uh, entry its own ID number. And to give it a unique ID number, this is the way I do it. There's different ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to use the date command. Uh, and uh, basically it's going to print out number of seconds since uh, 1970 something. Um, so basically every second, as long as no two people enter information at the same second, each line will have its own uh, ID number. So let's do that. We'll go echo and we'll go uh, the little back tick here, which is up by your one on the top row of the keyboard. And we're going to go date plus uh, percent s and uh, then back tick again. And right now I'm going to quickly save uh, that and I'm going to show you what that command does. So, you know, if you just do date, it gives you the date displayed like that. If you do date plus percent s. It gives you seconds since, like I said, I don't remember, 1970 something, uh, I think is. But you see, every time you run it, as long as it, you run it more than a second apart, it moves forward. So as I said, as long as two people don't enter information at the same second, you'll get a unique number for each entry. And so we have that. That will be the ID number for that, for the line. So, yeah. Now we're going to use the pipe symbol because that's what I like to use instead of commas to separate stuff, but you can use any symbol you want as a delimiter. And we'll go dollar sign F name, another pipe symbol, dollar sign L name, pipe symbol, dollar sign state. Close our uh, quotations and then we'll do uh, double greater than symbols and we'll just call this data dot CSV. You can call it whatever you want though. So basically it's going to get all this information and create a new line in this file with that information starting with the date to give it an individual ID number and each uh, item is separated by a pipe symbol. So let's save this. Change mode to plus X for get info file. That makes it executable so it will run. Now we do dot slash getinfo.sh and if we did everything right it says what is your first name I'll just say John what is your last name I'll say Smith and what state do you live in I'll say 
New York. Now, we'll see if we list files, we can see that we have, what did we call it? Database, data, 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 data CSV, it's right there. So, if we cat out that file, you can see we have that line of information. We'll run the command again, and we'll put in different information this time for a different user. We'll just say Sally Jones, and we'll say New York again, doesn't matter. And we'll run the command one more time, just so we have at least three entries in there. And we'll say Tom Smith, oh, first name is Tom, last name is Smith. And we'll just say Florida. Okay, so now if we cut out, cut out our data file, you'll see that we have all three of those entries. Now, let's say we want to remove Sally Jones. Now, a few different ways we can do this. We can just remove a line that has Sally on it, but if there's more than one Sally in there, then it will remove both of them. That's why we give each item its own unique ID number. So basically, if we know their ID number, we can remove that line. And the way we're going to do this is that we will uh, use the grep command with the V switch, which does a reverse search. So, uh, we're going to do a search for that ID number and we'll say file data CSV. So now it should output every line except for the line that has that ID number. There you go. Now that hasn't changed the file yet because if we still cat out that file, you'll see that it's still there. So the way I do this, and probably not the most efficient way, but it works, is we'll run this command. But what, what I'll do is I'll send that information into a temp file. I'll just call it temp.csv for now. And then I'll run another command. So semicolon meaning that we're going to run a new command. I'm just going to move temp.csv to data to CSV. So we create a temp file and then we overwrite the original file with the temp file. So if we do that now and we cat out that CSV, you'll see that Sally has been removed because we removed it by, based on her ID number. So that is one way to remove a line from a database like that. Once again, you want to give them the unique uh, ID number. Otherwise, you might remove, you know, if you want to remove all Sally's or remove everybody from New York, you just use New York instead of the ID number. So I hope that helps uh, Fresher out or Fraser out or however you say his screen name. Sorry for butchering your screen name. Thanks for asking the question. I hope that helps. Uh, if you need more information, comment below and I'll try to do my best to answer. Have a great day and visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com.